my name is Lauren Braun. Welcome to my studio in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I am going to talk to you about a paper cutout project that I've been working on that incorporates lots of things from nature, like insects and ginkgo leaves and these colorful pebbles that I paint and shapes from the Art Deco movement of the 1920s. I draw all of my imagery with watercolor pencils on paper, and then I cut the pieces out with an X-Acto knife. So when you go to do this project, you can pick any type of imagery that you find exciting and inspiring. It could be uh, drawing your favorite foods or your favorite animals or cars and trucks. It could really be anything that you like. And then once you have a library of pieces to work with, you can create a collage on paper. You can tape your pieces up on the wall and your installation could keep changing over time as you draw more pieces and move them around. This has a lot of flexibility and I hope that you will be inspired and let your imagination run free. Another option for creating drawings that you could then turn into paper cutouts uh, is to make a leaf rubbing. So I picked up some ginkgo leaves from outside and I am going to show you how to do this. So you would take a piece of paper, take a soft leaded pencil and put the leaf under it and use the side of the pencil to create your drawing. And then once that part is done, you can add in some lines, you could add some color, you can 
go around the edge here. You can use different materials on this as well, like crayons, colored pencils. Do some experimentation with your different materials, different pencil weights. And so this is one example. You could repeat your pattern. This is a set that I did with wax crayons and I made some that I cut out, so you could make a collage. Lots of options here. I like to paint on this Yupo paper and make these pebble shapes. So I paint the whole piece of paper with acrylic inks that come in all different colors and then once it dries sometimes I layer more ink on top and once that dries then I cut out my pebble shapes. So I am using this synthetic paper called Yupo. This happens to be a circle. It also comes in rectangles and squares and so what you're going to need is a variety of acrylic inks in different colors, some paint brushes, your paper, a container of water, and a paper towel or a regular towel. And we're gonna try this out. So you can spray this with a spray bottle. You can also just take your brush and lay down some water and then you can do a variety of techniques with this. You can drip your ink into the water and I'm going to do some gold as well. And this is a very fluid process. So I'm going to just paint with this. Let's add some blue. And a darker red. You can tip your paper a little bit so that you get some interesting things happening with the ink going in different directions. You can mix different brush sizes. And keep adding water. And you can also take a paper towel or a towel and wipe away and it leaves a pattern. So I'm going to continue painting this and let it dry. And then I'll see if I wanna add more ink or if I want to start cutting out my pebble shapes or you could really cut out any kind of shapes and sometimes I paint on both sides of the paper. Um, you could cut out animal shapes or stars or geometric shapes, anything you like here.
These are some shells and a leaf shape that I painted on watercolor paper. And I just cut this one out with a pair of scissors. I'm going to cut this one out as well. This paper is a little bit stiffer than some of the other paper that I use for my drawings. So I'm going to use these scissors carefully to cut out the shape. You can also leave a little bit of space as you cut like this, a little bit of a margin if you wanted, depending on the look that you're going for. Or you could cut your shape out right to the edge. And just go slowly. Sometimes I use an X-Acto knife. If you're comfortable doing that, you can carefully use an X-Acto knife or the scissors are always a good bet. Once you have your library of drawings cut out and ready to go, you can begin to arrange your pieces on the tabletop or tape them up onto the wall. And this is a very playful and intuitive process of just curating your drawings and I do a lot of moving things around, seeing how they look, layering pieces on top of each other. that this has inspired you to create new artwork and to experiment with new materials. Thank you so much for watching.